Well, hello. Welcome, everybody, to another Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday. How is everybody today? You guys, I hope everybody had a great week. Um, yeah, Friday. I love Fridays. I've got my maize and blue on. I've got my Michigan sweatshirt on. We've had a big rivalry weekend this weekend, like in-state, lots of in-state rivalries uh, this weekend in college football. So I'm just going to say go blue, go Wolverines. I hope you beat those Sparties. Sorry for any of my Sparty friends, but you know where my allegiance lies. So hey, Nikki, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Hey, Susie. Yay. All right, everybody's popping up. I was just saying, go blue, go blue. <laughs> so yeah, and we're going to uh, Lansing. Um, hey, Sharon, how are you? Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I was saying we're going to Lansing tomorrow for on stage. Um, I think there are seven of us in my group in our Ink Sparty Stampers group that are able to make the trip to Lansing tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. I actually had a friend who texted me um, early this morning and said, did you get the um, catalogs yet? Because they accidentally, um, the wh whoever ships out our catalogs accidentally like shipped some of the celebration and occasions catalogs early so they posted that earlier this week so they're like if you get one you can't like you know show anything which we're not supposed to right now anyway so yes Sharon resting up for the big day tomorrow but anyway she said it was they're fantastic so of course I had to run out to my mailbox to see if I was one of the lucky people that got it early and I was not but that's okay because I'm assuming either we're gonna get it tonight um, so we actually have what they call center stage tonight so if you're silver elite and above in Stampin' Up in terms of demonstrator levels you get to go to an awesome event where they spoil us tonight um, there's usually and every year is different but there's usually some kind of um, entertainment that they provide and then a yummy meal so I'm super excited to see what tonight is so Nancy Gulick and I are gonna be heading down tonight um, for that event and then we're all meeting bright and early tomorrow morning to head um, back down to Lansing for the all day event where we will for sure get our occasions and celebration catalogs. So if you have had enough of holiday fun already, which is kind of crazy because the holidays haven't even really started yet, but hopefully you've been thinking about what you want to make for your holiday cards or your holiday treats or, you know, any kind of holiday projects. So um, hopefully you've got that in your mind and you're working on that. And then we can start showing you soon celebration and occasions catalog stuff. So as demonstrators, um, and I don't remember the exact dates, but um, we get to pre-order, especially if you go to OnStage, there's like a really early window, like a product purchase premiere. Hey, Lisa, thank you for the share. I appreciate it. Oh, Nikki, you got yours? Is that, I'm just like missing some of these comments. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got yours too. Yay, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see it now. So yeah, so tomorrow at OnStage, they'll have um, displays and they'll be showing us fun um, new products from Celebration and Occasions catalog. So it's going to be an awesome weekend of fun, new, um, inspiring things to be able to start playing with soon. So, and then what was I saying? Oh yeah, as demonstrators, if you go to OnStage, um, you get to purchase early, which I feel like might even be um, like in the next couple of days or may maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, another big news. Um, hi, Cade. Um, he's probably not very happy with me. Um, I took his car to work out this morning because it was behind mine. He's totally laughing at me. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe you should come say hi. Yeah, come say hi after you wash your hands. So, yeah, anyway, um, I don't really think this was my fault, but his car didn't start very well you this morning. The... Come here. Oh. Come here and say hi real quick. I'm going to go fix it. Oh, he's got to go fix it. Okay, so yeah, so sorry, because I was really worried about this interruption, um, but he handled it nicely. <laughs> I texted him while he was away. Okay, so this is what happened. So I went out to take his car to work out this morning, and it wouldn't start at first. So I took the dog out to go potty, came back in, got myself around. I was like praying, like, please let the car start, because it's in the driveway, and it's a narrow driveway. So if his car doesn't move, my car that's in the garage doesn't move either. So fortunately, it started. So I got to work out, came back home. I thought turned the car off. And apparently, I think what happened is his phone is like Bluetooth or whatever synced to his car. So I thought I turned it off all the way, but it must not have been totally. Um, because then I went out to take the dog on a quick walk. And I was like, why is his music playing in his car? Which it wasn't playing the whole time I was driving the car this morning, like to work out and back. 
Uh, so I don't know, it was like this weird, like crazy thing where it synced up, I guess, to his Bluetooth, started playing music. I thought he like remote started it or something. Um, so he was just trying to keep it warm until he could get out there. So I didn't really think much about it. Took the dog around the block for the walk, came back, car was off. I'm like, okay, I don't really know what's going on. Well, when he went out to get in the car, it wouldn't start. <laughs> so he tried it a couple times. I guess that drained the battery. So they tried to jump, you know, jumper cables. His dad came over to help him. And then that didn't work. So I think they had to go buy a battery. So that's where they're at now. And so I texted him while he was out, like getting the battery saying, don't forget 1130, I have Facebook Live. So don't <laughs> like, don't come in and like be really loud and don't swear or like be crazy or anything. So, hey, Ashley, how are you doing? So they're out there fixing that now. And the dog is freaking out because they've been like in and out so many times and he wants to know why he can't be out there helping them too. So it's been a kind of a chaotic morning, I have to tell you. So sorry for that little tangent. Um, and as he's down there, he's like, oh my gosh, they don't even care about this mom. But <laughs> I just had to share because, you know, it's the moments, right? Um, okay. And then I'm always, I realize, so I always have to put lotion on my hands like right as we start Facebook live I guess I don't know I'm always like running around and I didn't realize you guys could see me doing this so I'm always like rubbing hand and lotion in my hands so I'm trying to be like down here where you guys can't see me <laughs> today doing that so okay um let's see let me check my notes real quick oh okay so first of all welcome if anybody's new to Facebook live I appreciate you joining us today um I'll give you some more information as we kind of go along so that you kind of know how Facebook Live works. But the one thing I want to make sure to let everybody know about is the online extravaganza. It's starting and it is, um, it starts on Wednesday, November 20th and runs through Friday, November 22nd. So they haven't really told us much more than, hey, let everybody know that it's coming. And they said on Monday on our Stampin' Up! website, they will give us more information. So as soon as I have more information, I will post that on our Facebook group right here. So be watching for that. But big thing is, I'm sure, you know, um, at like midnight, 12.01 a.m. Salt Lake City time, which for he, me here in Michigan is 2.01 a.m., you can start ordering, you can hop online. I think, I mean, I guess I shouldn't even say that. But anyway, Wednesday morning, you can order um, from the online extravaganza. And if I remember from past years, I feel like they do some like special things um, that are only available like Wednesday or Wednesday morning or something, you know, until supplies run out. So be watching for that. I will give you as much information as I get on Monday and then just check. So I would check on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I they seem like they have different deals each day too. So be watching watching for that. I'll give you the host code to do your shopping because um, that'll help you get um, into the drawing that I do in a little while too. So, okay. So just be watching, be ready for that online extravaganza. It's obviously like the beginning of the holiday shopping season. Um, if you have already finished your holiday shopping, kudos to you. I never get mine really even started until about Thanksgiving weekend, I feel like. So, um, yeah, but so that could be something you could be thinking about. Do some holiday shopping online on the online extravaganza. And if you... Um, have a problem and you're not able to get to your computer, if you just send me a message and what you want, I'm, I'll be putting orders in each of those days too, so I can order for you if you need my help doing that, so, okay? Um, <clears throat> other quick reminders, other things to think about as far as maybe Christmas um, presents for yourself, right? The weekend retreat coming up on March 13th through the 15th. I'm still like in like afterglow of how much fun the weekend retreat was a couple weekends ago. So mark your calendars, March 13th through 15th, 2020. Woo! That's crazy to say. We will be doing our weekend retreat. And then the one day retreat right here in Alma is on Saturday, April 18th. Okay, so keep your, um, keep your calendar open for both of those. Let me know if you need more info. I'm emailing, posting on Facebook, about both of those things too. Um, the other thing, online bingo. So I have some people that have signed up, but I need a few more. So I would love to have you guys join us because I want to, I love to give away awesome prizes, right? And the more people I have, then the more money I have to spend on my awesome prizes. So I would love for you to join us for online bingo. It is on Thursday, December 5th. It starts at 6.30 Eastern time. So whatever time zone you're in, you might need to adjust that. Um, 
we will do a Facebook group. I do a separate like bingo Facebook group where we play bingo right online, kind of like this right here. We'll do make and takes. So I'll flip the camera down. We'll do our make and takes. I'll kind of demonstrate. You guys will get your packets. I'm going to ship those out to you. You get an awesome goodie bag, our swag bag full of awesome product too. So everybody's a winner, right? So you get a swag bag, you get make and takes, and then you could win bingo too, right? So it's lots and lots of fun. And I would love to have you join us. So let me know um, if you have questions on that. I've been posting about that too, but if you need the link um, to sign up, I'm happy to get that to you. So I would love to have you do that. The thing is that I need RSVP and payment by next Monday, which is I think November 18th, um, so that I can get everything ordered and out to you. And Sharon is just telling me, oh, so the product purchase premiere, the PPP, I think they call it for short, is November 16th through the 19th. Um, 19th. If you go to on stage, then we can actually order even super early from the celebration and occasions catalog. So <laughs> very cool. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see these catalogs. Um, and yeah, then I'll be able to start showing you guys some fun stuff too in December. I won't tease you too much. We'll hold off a little while, but yeah, starting in December, I'll start showing you some fun things from the new catalogs. Okay. Um, Oh, last, about the last thing, right? Another quick reminder, the snowman season class to go. I have all four of these cards here. I'm just gonna kind of flash them up here. So these are the four cards. Sorry, they're kind of a little jumbled mess right here, right? So these are the four cards you can make in the snowman season class to go. You actually make two of each of those cards. Today is the last day to RSVP if you wanna get one of those to-go kits. The PDF tutorial that tells you how to put them all together, that's always available anytime. Um, link is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, I've been posting on our Facebook group, but again, if you need the link, let me know and I can send it to you. But I'd love to get you signed up for that class to go to because those cards are so cute. And I've been hoarding because the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper is on a little bit of a back order, but I believe I have enough for everybody's to-go kit. So um, let me know. I'd love to get you one of those sent out also, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to draw. So we're gonna do our first drawing for, this is the beautiful gold shimmer ribbon and it's really like glistening. Little bit of sunshine here today, just peeking through our white clouds. Snowy, you guys, do you have lots of snow yet? Holy mackerel, this is the most snow I feel like that stayed too. Like we got some snow, we got some more snow. It's like, I don't know, it feels, they're, they're calling it Novemberary on the news because it's more like January or February around here, which we're, no one's ready for it. So anyway, sorry, I just looked outside. Plus the white, I think that's what it is. The white um, is, is making the glow even greater on my gold shimmer ribbon here. Okay, so you got your name in the drawing if you shared the video. So share the video anytime between now and next Thursday. This video right now that we're doing, just share it, share it, share it. Super easy, simple. Then you get your name in the drawing and I'll show you what I'm gonna draw for next week in just a sec. The other thing is if you're new to me and you just signed up for my new email list, your name is in here too. So, okay. All right, we're gonna toss these babies around and let's see. What we've got, who the lucky winner is of the beautiful gold shimmer ribbon. And that is part of that Christmas time is here suite, too. That limited edition suite. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I got like three of them together. Okay, now I've got only one. Oh, Miss Bonnie Blank, and I think she's new to email. So, Bonnie, if you did not give me your address when you signed up for my email list, make sure you do that. You have two weeks to claim your prize, your gold um, shimmer ribbon, okay? And I will get this sent out to you, okay? Miss Bonnie Blank. So congratulations, Bonnie, that is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And while I'm thinking about it, since I mentioned that, um, the Christmas time is here, sweet. I have my pretty, beautiful, wonderful, colorful flyer, right? So this is the limited edition to Sweet. It's all still available. So I just showed you that gold shimmer ribbon. There's the huge bundle. You can get everything. You can get the stamp set and the framelits in the bundle. You can get just the stamp set. You can get the pretty bracelet, the designer series paper, the dies, the ribbon, or the gold, um, what are those? The gold glitter enamel dots. So awesome 
sweet that's not in the catalog, okay? So if you go to the Stampin' Up! website, this is um, the banner that you'll see on there, and you can click on it and get more info on any of these things. But it's all while supplies last. So it started on November 1st, so if you haven't gotten it yet and you're interested, do it soon so that it doesn't run out on you, okay? <clears throat> all right. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. Okay. Do you guys want to see what we're going to give away? So this week, share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name goes in the drawing to win. These are the awesome brightly gleaming foil elements, they're called. Okay, so what it is, you get um, five sheets of these. So you get two huge stars. You get a couple of small ornaments and a couple of smaller stars and then a whole bunch of these kind of spriggy things and then there are five sheets of this too they um are not sticky on the back though so you do have to add adhesive just that was kind of confusion at a class that i had um but yeah so they're just sheets of beautiful copper foil accents so you could win these next week just share the video sign up for my email list and we will draw for these on next friday okay um okay let's see so you guys let's do our next drawing okay um <clears throat> i'm gonna put the names in the basket there so if you ordered at least 30 dollars from me between last friday's facebook live and wednesday this past wednesday at midnight you are going to get these two cards that i demonstrated last week on facebook live these definitely go out to you uh, your name goes in the drawing to win. This is that hammered metal 3D embossing folder. And if you bumped your order up to $50, you also are gonna get a pack of the star designer elements. So for sure, the cards with the $30 order, the embellishment with the $50 order, and your name goes in the drawing to win that hammered metal embossing folder. Okay, so that's all you gotta do. Just basically put an online order in, use the host code, it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, and I will give it to you in just a couple minutes when I flip the phone down to do our demonstration. Okay, so I'm tossing my names around, and our winner is Miss Babe O'Mara. So I think she goes by Fran or Francis, but well, her given name, but she goes by Babe. So I think that's super cute. So Babe, you are the winner of the Hammered Metal 3D Embossing Folder. So you're gonna get the cards and the Hammered Metal 3D Embossing Folder. So congratulations. All right, I will get that sent right out to you. Okay, I'm gonna scoot that out of the way and I will tell you guys what we are gonna give away. Sorry, my little ledge. If you guys can't tell, Lily and I went crazy last weekend. We already started decorating for Christmas. So the little ledge that I normally put those things on is covered um, in lots of cute Stampin' Up! stuff that I've made over the years. It's kind of like taken over the house, to be honest. Um, and it's a lot, there's a lot going on around here, but it's so fun. And then with the snow too, why not, right? Oh my gosh, feels like Christmas, that's for sure. So, okay, so this week, if you put that online order in, use the host code, you're gonna get the cards I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes. And your name goes in the drawing to win the Memories of Home stamp set. And this is one that keeps catching my eye. I actually don't even own it yet, but I'm still thinking I might have to get it. I love, there's something about that tree that is so pretty, I guess because it's so big too, I love that. And then some great sentiments. I'm gonna read these to you. you. We've got, may your Christmas be filled with all the memories of home, which that's very sweet, huh? Glad tidings, that's a fun one. We don't feel like we've had that before. Peace, joy, and love. There's a little to and from, Christmas cheer, and wishing you a merry season. So you can see all those sentiments. And then these ornaments right here coordinate with that. I think it's the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack. So the smaller of the two ornament punches will punch those guys. And I think that's why I like it so much too. I love those um, cute little uh, ornaments there also, the stamps on them. So place at least a $30 order, use that host code, and you could win the Memories of Home stamp set next week. Okay, <clears throat> I think we are ready to flip the camera down. I have, this is like kind of one of those crazy days where we're doing Facebook Live, then I have to get everything uploaded from Facebook Live, then I have class from one to three at the studio, and it seems like I'm always later than three o'clock at the studio, and then at four, I have to leave to go down to Lansing for center stage. So it's like one of those, everything has to happen just so to like have the day go smoothly. 
and running the battery out on the car was not part of the plan today. It does not help things go smoothly so far. <laughs> not as smoothly as I would have liked anyway. So, okay, let's see. We're gonna flip the camera down and we'll do some stamping. All right, hold on just a sec, guys, and we're gonna try not to call the police either. Okay. That feels, oh. Cade's here again. Did you get it fixed? Working on it, he says. Okay, oops. All right, trying to get this situated. All right, so here is our host code for uh, November, the NG6VTDEC. Just use that host code when you order, and you could get the Memories of Home stamp set. Okay, so actually, let me grab my grid paper too. And let me show you guys. Okay. I am in so much love with the projects that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I think it's the Peaceful Vows bundle, right? So this has been our product of the week all week, the Peaceful Vows stamp set. And then these are the, they're called the Beautiful Vows dies. But if you can see, so, and I think it's because this is, there's something about the um, pine cones, we have a couple of different stamps that have pine cones, and every time I stamp these things, I absolutely love them. There's there's something just about all the detail. And then the branches, too. Lots of pretty detail on the branches. Great sentiment, too, right? May the spirit of peace gently fill your heart and home in this most wonderful time of year. And then a season's greetings there also. And then all of the dyes, too. Can you guys see? So a, lot, a few uh, branches. And then these are really cool. So we've got the pine cones that cut just, um, you could just stamp the pine cones, right? And then cut them out with the kind of the edging dies, or you can make all of this detail, which we are going to do on our projects in just a couple minutes. And then both of these labels cut out these, they fit around there perfectly. So it's a great, it's one of those sets. Um, and it doesn't, this doesn't even have to be super holiday. You know, there's some of this, it's pretty holiday, but like these are great little label framelits that you can use all year round too. Um, and even the pine cones, those are not just Christmassy, right? I think it's all like winter time. You could use those too. So, okay. All right, let's see. We are going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys. So this is the first car that we are going to make. And I love, so I started basically with this. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying that stamp set too, Susie. Um, this is the, oh, and what is the name? I think it's called the Night Before Christmas Designer Series Paper. And this is a pack of paper that I have not really played with very much yet, but I finally opened it up and really took a good look at it. And I loved this um, little plaid pattern of paper. So that's kind of how, what helped me build the card. And the colors that coordinate in here that we've got Poppy Parade, which is what this piece is. And then the other diagonal stripe going the other way is Cherry Cobbler, which is what I used for my card base, right? And then can you see all the detail on our pine cone? there too. Um, <clears throat> just a great amount of detail right on there with that little layering piece that kind of goes over the outline. So I'll show you how we make those too. Okay. All right. So let me get my pieces out. And this is actually one of the cards. So spoiler alert, if you're coming down to class this afternoon, this is one of the cards that we're making at the Simple Beautiful Card class down at the studio today. So, and again, I know people have asked about getting tutorials for those cards and there isn't really a tutorial because I generally use those on Facebook Live or I put them on my blog and I give you all the details there too. So you can find, um, you know, how to make all the cards that we make at the Simple Beautiful Card class, either on Facebook or on on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And let's see, I'm getting all these things out and then I'm like, then, then um, stuff gets in the way of trying to die cut. But okay, I think we'll be all right here. Okay, okay, get our ink too. Maybe I'll put that right there, right? Okay, so extra pieces there. <clears throat> what do I wanna do first? Let's do our stamping. So I've got Oh, no, you know what? Let me tell you about measurements first, actually. So this is a piece, and I've already cut everything. Sometimes I've been showing you how to kind of cut and score, but this, um, I was trying to kind of make things flow a little bit more quickly, so I make sure I have time to stay on track today. Okay, so this is a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, and it measures four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, okay? And then we have 
two pieces of very vanilla because I've got one on the outside of the card and one, and you can see, love those pine cones, right? One very vanilla piece on the inside of the card. This one I want to double check my measurement on. Yeah, so this this one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, both of the very vanilla. And then the Poppy Parade is just kind of graduated in an eighth of an inch is all. So this measures three and seven eighths here and then five and one eighth on that one right there, okay? The only other piece that you need a measurement for is our designer series paper, The Night Before Christmas. And this one measures two inches by five and one eighth inches, okay? All right, so let's do, I've just got a scrap of very vanilla here that we are gonna do our stamping with our sentiment. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up, beautiful, right? And then we might as well, on the inside of one of our vanilla pieces, let's stamp our pine cones. And I'm just gonna slip my little grid paper under there because they do kind of go off the edge just a little bit. So I'm gonna do one big one right there. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Look at all of that detail. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and then we're gonna do one there and I'm gonna do one more there. Okay, so I love kind of just doing a little something fun on the inside if I don't decorate it or in stamp with a sentiment or something entirely, okay? All right, so now we are gonna die cut this piece. We're gonna cut a bunch of um, pieces right here out of uh, well, this is early espresso cardstock, right? And then we will do our embossing because I did, I don't know if you can see that, but on this piece right here, I use the subtle embossing folder. I'm trying to get it in the right light so you can see it a little bit. Hey, Tammy, how are you doing? Glad you can join us. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure I've got some room here do what we need to do. Okay, so that's in view enough. We're gonna move that one out of the way too. Okay. All right, so I've got my sentiment and then I've got my early espresso piece. Okay, so this one we're just using the label, right? We're gonna pop that on there. I will make sure that is situated properly. And then, so we're gonna cut out a couple of outlines and then a couple of detailed pieces for our pine cones. Okay, there we go. And this one, I'm gonna wanna kinda go back and forth a couple of times uh, to get all the little parts and pieces out of the pine cone there. Okay, all right, sun's peeking out, making the glare. That's all right though. Okay, sorry for the wiggle, ladies. Give me one sec here. I wanna go back and forth over those details the detailed ones just a little bit. Okay, I think that'll be good. Right, and then why don't we, let's get our subtle embossing folder and just emboss our Poppy Parade piece also with our subtle embossing folder. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? This card is gonna look familiar to you since we made it on Wednesday night also at class. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna crank our subtle embossing folder through here. And it's so subtle that some people maybe even missed it at class. It can happen. Let's see. I can see it, I don't know. Can you guys see it there? Maybe right there, you can kind of see. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, moving the big shot out of the way. We're good with that. See, oh, I know what we want to do. So let's check out what happened with these pieces. So this one cut, and I love all the little accents that come out of there also, right? So these are going to be easy, and then these are the ones. Let's see, did many? I'm always hoping. Ooh, that did pretty well. We lost a lot of them there, right? Okay, so we're going to grab our Big Shot die brush. Okay, let's move these, though, so I don't lose anything. Okay, and... You know what I might even do? I wonder. I've never done this on here, but sometimes I wonder. No, maybe that's not going to... I thought maybe having a harder service here, that that would help those come out, but it's not helping at all, actually. Okay, so here we go. We're going to grab these and pop them on here, and we will use... 
our little dye brush. So we're just gonna kind of run. Yeah, I guess maybe you need the softness that helps them pop out a little bit better. And sometimes it just takes a little bit. Maybe if I even put it on my finger. It is being a little futzy today, of course. So we might have to grab our paper piercing tool also. And everybody's Big Shot is a little bit different. It's funny because maybe if I even would have placed it in a different part. Um, there we go. Now we're getting, now it's kind of flinging all over the place. Um, on my, on my um, Big Shot too. You just never know. But okay, I did bring my little paper piercing tool. So we will kind of pop a couple of those out. I keep flinging it. <laughs> it's kind of tiny to work with, isn't it? But it's this is definitely worth it. The effect that you get when you pull all those little babies out. Did I get them? I think I see one more we want to pull out. And it keeps catching on the back. There we go. All right. One more there. Okay, so I think those look good. We're going to scoot this little baby out of the way. All right, now we can start putting things together. All right, we don't need those either, do we? Okay, so I have found that the easiest way to put these on here is use your little, can you guys see that? Let me make sure I'm in line here. The little silicone craft sheet, okay? And what we kind of learned when we were at class the other day is you almost want to make like little kind of tick or flick marks with your snail. You don't want to run adhesive all the way across, you know, kind of from side to side or top to bottom because that creates like huge spans of adhesive you're still going to get you can see a little bit kind of caught between the holes but you can usually use your finger and kind of rub that off you want to obviously rub to make sure it sticks on there and then it also helps to kind of if you rub your finger like that it'll take that adhesive off that's kind of spanned between those things so we're going to do the same thing on this one so just kind of little flicks of your adhesive. And I want to do a full run, just enough to get it to stick on here, basically. Let's see. That one right there. Okay, whoopsie daisy. There we go. Okay, so we can scoot that baby out of the way. Now I think we can kind of put things together here. So we're going to add our designer series paper the night before Christmas designer series paper we're going to pop that on to the edge of our poppy parade piece that we embossed with our subtle embossing folder now I have the burlap ribbon <laughs> that's funny Lori I know how to glue those now it is kind of a tap 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 kind of like stamping right yep just don't do long runs of adhesive on those pine cones. Okay, so we're just going to take this and then we're going to flip it over. And I like to kind of bend it because this is pretty stiff. The burlap is, you know, when you work with burlap, it kind of is stiff like that, right? Okay, so we're going to put that one on there. And then I always have to do a double check. I have to flip this back over and make sure it didn't go wonky on me. Make sure it's still straight. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to add some more adhesive. One more quick double check, flip that, and I'm going to press really firmly on both of those. Now, because I have that burlap, it's pretty thick, I want to get a good amount of adhesive. And also because this is an embossed piece, I like to add quite a bit of adhesive on there. Okay, we are going to pop this one. Let's see, scoot it just a touch over. You know what I'm realizing? Probably, if you're a demonstrator, you are on your way to um, on stage already because it's kind of a quiet Friday. I hadn't really, I had just been running around so busy, I hadn't really thought that much about that. So probably lots of people will be watching the Facebook Live later because they're en route to wherever they need to you know, go to get where they need to be, right, for on stage tonight and tomorrow. So hopefully everyone has a great weekend, fun, fun times. I am super excited because it's so close. We have not had an on stage with Stampin' Up! in Michigan yet, not one of these locals. 
Um, so this is super duper exciting for all of us gals in Michigan that we don't have to travel too far. Okay, so here's our sentiment. I just added um, dimensionals on the back of there because I want it to kind of go right over that burlap. Now I'm gonna put one dimensional on the back of my big pine cone and I'm gonna put him maybe right about there. And then what I thought was easiest was to even use like one of our little mini dimensionals and I'll put it kind of down on the bottom of that one, I think. I don't know, I don't want it to pop up. I don't like the double, but I think that's gonna work if I do it right there, kind of down below. Then, and I have just this little, um, and I was kind of laying on my craft table, right? <laughs> Oh yes, and show some pictures. We sure will, Susie. That's on my on my mind to make sure to take lots of pictures and share them with you guys. Um, so yeah, this is the real red curly ribbon. I just had a little strip of it on my craft table, probably from some other project I had made. I have a little dish that I put all of my scraps of ribbon in, and it's kind of handy when I'm trying something out. I can kind of rifle through there and see what do I have and what might work on whatever project I'm working on. Then, okay, so this can't make it too big. We're gonna trim that down a bunch. Um, and let's see, we're gonna grab a little mini glue dot here and pop this little bow right on the bottom here. And I see a little dimensional back. It's funny, when I got home from class the other night, I took my sweater off and there was literally, it wasn't even a back of a dimensional, it was like a whole dimensional. Somehow it got stuck on my back, on my sweater. It was the funniest thing, because I was like, what the heck is that? So yeah, those dimensionals, they're everywhere, aren't they? Okay, so we're gonna scoot these guys out of the way. The last step, where do I have them? Right here, actually two more steps now that I think about it. These are those little gold shimmer, glimmer, whatever, enamel dots. So we're gonna use a couple of these, and the little ones, I wanna use the little ones, but I'm gonna warn you, they get to be a little bit funny trying to, oh good, that's gonna work out. Okay, never mind. We'll see, hopefully this one. Yeah, I'm in luck. I just put a couple of them right down there. And that is all we need for that. Okay, now we're just gonna put the inside piece on the inside of our card, right? My adhesive, I must be down to about the end. Oh my gosh, don't let me run out while we're doing Facebook Live, right? It feels, it's not running quite as well. You know when you get a fresh one and it runs really, really well toward the end? gets gummed up a little bit. Not too bad. Not like they used to, that's for sure. Okay, so there's one card featuring that product of the week, the Peaceful Bows bundle and those beautiful dies, the beautiful bows. I think they're called beautiful bows dies. Okay, so this is one of the cards you could receive with your online order this week. Then let me show you. Okay, so this other card, I was looking through the catalog and you guys know I love to do this. I, they always do such a nice job with um, things in the catalog, right? So this is the very front of our holiday catalog. They do that bundle index now, so they show you all of the bundles that we have. But you'll notice there are different projects on here than they are, um, you know, so for example, the Peaceful Bows bundle they're saying is on page 15. So they show this beautiful card and then they don't show it again in the catalog. And I loved this card. Now the really cool thing is through Stampin' Up! <clears throat> on the Demonstrator website, they give us the details, everything that they use to make this card. So I was able to pull that up and then basically duplicate this card. I did make a couple of changes that I think are really awesome and actually make it even a little bit simpler to put the card together. But let me show you what I did. So anyway, I think it's just fabulous to case the catalog because these Stampin' Up! designers do such beautiful work, obviously, right? Like why not try to duplicate some of the beautiful projects that they have made on there? Okay, so actually let me, I'm gonna to try to put a couple things back here so I don't get too mixed up because I have to take that card back down to the studio so we can keep making it today at class. And Lily's gonna help me out with class today. She's gonna to go be me for a little while until I can get down there because I wanna get everything posted before I have to go down to Lansing. Okay, so here is the other card. So can you see, I don't know, let's see if you can, 
here it is in the catalog and then here it is live so i don't know if you guys can see once i made this like i liked the card i i really liked the card in the catalog now that i have made this card i absolutely love it so i'm like okay i want to make some more of this one and i'm not usually like a super shimmery shiny um, kind of a gal but this card i just loved so the one thing i will tell you guys is this paper I used is that Mercury Glass Designer Acetate, and I put a piece of white cardstock behind it so it kind of looks almost like snow background, right? What Stampin' Up! actually did, they did not use this Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. They used instead, if I get super close, maybe you can tell, right? They used another piece of, this is gray granite cardstock, and they stamped, so can you kind of see, they stamped some of, where's my stamp set? The sprigs, like this sort of thing, they stamped them in gold, that gold um, metallic ink, right? But before, well, so they stamped them in gold metallic ink and then they sprinkled just around the edges some white embossing powder and then heat set it all. So you can kind of, I don't know if you guys can even see that, right? Hey, Debbie, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, but anyway, I thought, okay, that seemed like more work. And honestly, when I first looked at this, I really thought that they used this um the mercury glass designer acetate so i thought okay well we'll just skip that whole step of stamping and embossing and heat tool and all that and just use this instead and i think the effect is gorgeous then from there i did everything else the same that they did so let me i'm going to walk you through how to make this card so that you can make it too and while i'm thinking about that all of the item codes oh good i'm glad you got your glitter dots yay we just used them i don't know if you saw but we just used the teeny tiny ones on that card right there. So good, I'm glad those arrived safely to you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, all of the item codes, everything that you need to order to make this card will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com along with all of the measurements of everything too. Um, so you'll be able to easily duplicate um, these cards if you would like to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple of things here. And I actually already did a little bit of the work because I knew you guys already were gonna know how to make the pine cones. So I'll just explain. These pine cones, same idea as the um, early espresso ones, but this time I used gray granite on the back of each of these. And then the most beautiful part, we used the, this is champagne foil paper. And I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful these are. You're just gonna have to make one because then you'll be able to see how beautiful they are. Um, but So the gray granite kind of peeks out behind the champagne. Maybe you get a little bit better idea on there when it all goes together. But so I've already done that, so you don't have to watch me run the Big Shot die brush and all that again. Um, we are gonna cut the sprigs out. So let's actually do that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab... I should probably move this card so I don't smush it, right? Can I get that guy out of the way? All right, so we need our magnetic platform again. And this little baby, and I've got all these little, <laughs> all my little brown things on there. So yeah, those are gonna be everywhere, but that's okay. We'll clean those up later. That is kind of the, the fun, right, of these detailed dies. They do leave little parts and pieces everywhere. Actually, we want this one on the bottom. Clearly, that's the one I use on the bottom because it's etched so well. So we have some gold foil paper there. And we have our big, big, beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm getting a text from my son while I'm, while I'm doing this. I'm just going to ignore it. Okay. Okay, good, it did. I was gonna swipe it away, but it's gone. Okay, so there we go. We're using those sprigs on our gold foil paper. Oh my goodness, this card is gorgeous. Sorry, we're gonna go back and forth a couple of times again here just to make sure that we cut them. And these actually, the foil, tends to be a little bit easier to cut these things out. Can you guys see? I'll get to this. 
there. You just have to be a little bit careful because you don't want to rip anything. Isn't that cool? You could do something fun with that piece too, I bet, huh? But there's that one right there. And then let's pop. Oops, that is still in there, isn't it? So, and that's the die, right? Okay, we're going to scoot these out of the way. Sometimes this works. We'll see if it does or not. Yes, look at that. You can just kind of pop that. Don't throw it too hard, right? You don't want to hurt yourself or have it flinging all over. But I love how that <laughs> kind of pops it right out. So, yeah, beautiful, huh? Okay, so guys, I think I'm going to give you some dimensions. And then we can start putting... Oh, no, there's one more. We have to actually do some stamping. Let's stamp. I forgot about that. We need to stamp our sentiment, our season's greetings. We're going to stamp that. This is um, gray granite. Yes, I wanted to make sure. Sometimes I get mixed up, smoky slate and gray granite. But this is gray granite ink. Press firmly. There we go. And we'll scoot that out of the way. Okay, so we do need to die cut this little baby right here, too with the other label that is in those peaceful bows or beautiful bows dies, whatever those are called, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll pop that little baby right on there. Let's turn it this way so I can read it, then I'll make sure it's straight. It's thinking. Yeah, okay, I'm in view. All of a sudden, I'm like just kind of moving along here, wondering if I'm in view or not. Okay, so there we go. Pop that little baby out. And again, it cuts those little details right out of there. Okay. All right, I think we are good with that one. All right, now I can give you guys dimensions. So again, this is a piece of gray granite cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I scored it in half at five and a half inches, okay? So that's our card base. Then I have a piece of whisper white cardstock and the mercury glass designer acetate. So you can see how you can see through it, right? And then when you put the white behind it, it looks very like snowfally, right? And this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Actually, both of those do. Now, the one thing I will tell you is that I tried to be a little bit strategic about where I put my adhesive on. And actually, what I learned was it's really hard to run adhesive on the back of this. It's almost easier to run it on this white piece and then lay that down on there. So that's what we're going to do. But I only want to put adhesive where I'm going to kind of cover things up. So I just kind of started again using some little flicks and adding. Maybe that's probably good enough. That is definitely going to hold. I don't know if you can see all those little pieces, like little flicks of adhesive, right? That is going to hold this mercury glass on here. The trick is to try to get it lined up nicely so you can't really see that white around any of the edges. Now I think that looks good. So we're gonna flip that over and press firmly. Now we can run a bunch of adhesive on the back of this white piece. And add this one right to our gray granite card base. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, I'm gonna grab my little silicone craft sheet again because again, I wanna put a bunch of adhesive. And you know what, where's my little, I've got a couple. When you flip it over, that's when you can kind of see. It's funny, on the front side, I don't see it quite so well, but there are a couple that I want to poke out of there. So that one looks good. Let's flip this one over. Yeah, can you see? Like, I can see it better on this side. Oops. And then I drop it. There's one more right here. We're going to pop that little baby out there, too. Okay? So that looks good there, right? So again, just little flicks of adhesive to kind of add this to our card. Oops, that one kind of got rolled up there, didn't it? There we go. Okay, so that's good there. Now let's do this one. There, that should be enough adhesive in there. All right, so I've got my little piece I'm trying to kind of see what I'm doing, I'm trying to base it off of what I did before. So we'll put that one there. Oops. And then this one is going to come down. 
maybe right about like that. And then we can press firmly, make sure that's all stuck on there. And if they're not all, that's okay. You could lift it up and put a little bit of adhesive behind it. But I kind of like if they're not all completely stuck on there, they're just kind of floating a little bit. Okay, now we are going to put some dimensionals behind our season's greetings. So let's do that. And actually also behind our pine cones. Okay, so we're going to pop that little baby maybe right about there. And then these beautiful, I have to show you guys these again. I just love these pine cones. I think they are so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna use big one there. We're gonna put a big one on here. And actually I wanna use a little mini for this one because I wanna kinda of just put it down at the bottom of that one there. Oops, okay. So here we go, we're gonna add that pine cone there. We're gonna put this one next to it. And I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of adhesive so it will stick kind of on top. Oops, more like it's stuck to my fingers because they are so dry. There we go, put that one right about there. And then one more down on there. Okay, last little bit. I knew, I was like, okay, we gotta add a little something else. Here it is. I was like, where's my white baker's twine, ladies? Okay, so I did a double, which basically just pull a bunch off. Don't cut it though, because that way if you realize you don't have enough, you can always re-pull it. Okay, so I've doubled this up, and now you just act like you're tying a bow as if it were one kind of piece of twine instead of two. Okay, we've got that there and that there and that there. All right, that one and those. And then where are my glue dots? We're gonna just grab another little glue dot and add that little baby right up in there. And you know I have to futz with those a little bit, but. Yay, there we go. So what do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? It's like I said, it's almost like snow falling right on that paper and then all that beautiful gold foil and the champagne foil. I haven't used that in a while and I love that too. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today and making these fun cards with me. I love, this is just a beautiful uh, bundle of products, right? That beautiful bow stamp set and the dies are all over the place. But anyway, the dies that go with this peaceful bows stamp set, right? So make sure if you are so inclined to order any of the products that we use to make these cards or this little baby right here, make sure you use that host code, the NG6VTDEC. It's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Don't forget that. You will get these cards, one of each with a $30 order. When you use the host code, your name goes in the drawing to win the Memories of Home stamp set. And then wherever I put those star designer elements, if you bump your order up to $50, you get those also. And then don't forget, you might maybe want to wait until Wednesday, next week on Wednesday, because that's when the online extravaganza sale starts. So you could order these products and then anything else that's on sale, you could get those too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. I uh, hope you have safe travels. If you're heading to onstage tonight or tomorrow, have a great weekend and let me know what your favorite new thing is when you see that occasions and celebration catalogs. All right. So have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next Friday. Bye. And thanks, Susie. I'm glad you guys like those. Thanks, Sharon. Bye, guys.